Hello everyone, welcome here. A few things about to data type basics to understand and start working with basics. Let's see. C++ data types are a variable must be specific data type to store what type of data is going to be putting inside a variable or storing. So see here, first one is int, integer num, num is a variable name equal to 15, 1, 5 is a number is storing the particular num variable or identifier. So integer is nothing but whole number it is going to be storing like a number, okay, without a decimal point or without the point, anything. And the second one is float, it's like a price, with the price of item 7.99. Where is a decimal point is there floating point value and this next one double it's a temp is a variable it's nothing but temperature and 32.98 is the temperature value some decimal point value only it is stored for double number and which, which is a looking a very similar like a float as well as the double so what is the difference between these two yes in the next slide i'll clarify you Care, it's a gender, maybe one single character, either male or female or uh, true or false. These are also we can use for care as a single character, wherever you require, you also use character to character. And bool status is a true or false, where the application is enabled or disabled. In such a scenarios, they will use for bool as a data type. And the next one is string. My name is a name I have specified as a variable name in the John Perry, some XYZ name I have taken. So the string, whenever you are writing something, some information like alphanumeric characters, which are surrounded with the double quotes will be called as string. Maybe number you are putting double quotes surrounded will be called as string data only. These are very, very basic essential to start begin with data types in C++ as well as any other programming languages at present in the industry. Now going to the point, what is the range? How many characters we can store? What is the data range it is there? So let's begin. Specifications of Boolean one byte characters like one Boolean value is taking one byte of storage, the size from the memory as well as the storage and the stores true or false values description and the character one byte only a single character letter number whatever it one ascii characters and the integer two or four bytes of storage space it will collect from whole number without decimal it will be treated as integer data type and strongly remember two bytes and four bytes like later lectures we need to concentrate more on the storage point also and as well as it's a very important of uh, interview questions for freshers. What is the integer will take? What is the float will collect the size of memory or data storage character and the double. So float and double you may observe float is four bytes stores fractional numbers containing one or more decimals sufficient for the storing seven decimal digits only seven after the period or dot it will be collected seven decimal digits only whereas double is going to be like a uh, storing eight bytes of data and stored factorial numbers containing one or more decimals are sufficient for storing 15 decimal digits after the period so how beauty whichever you require either float if it is a low capacity of the numbers and if it is a big size of numbers with the point which you need to interact with the decimal dot or period you can apply for double so very clear i hope these are the data types if you understand then you are going to be put in a data inside this particular variables and strongly remember one thing like if you are taking a small container of a small box wooden box like a parcel you want to send a courier and here you are making like a large extent of big laptops or something you are trying to put in will it be putting there Will it be insert inside the small box, whereas the pouch is called like a mobile pouch? No, it will be overflow. So strongly remember, unless until you are not aware of these data types and what data you are trying to putting inside, you may face some challenges in programming while implementing the program. Alright, I hope it's very clear. 
with this help we are jumping and initiating with the numeric types in life i'll see you in the next one thank you